Hello and welcome to this Spotlight session. My name is James and I'm one of the London-based customer success managers here at Mixpanel. Today, it is my pleasure to talk to you about how Mixpanel helps serve the needs of customers across the fintech space. We'll be covering three core themes in today's session. First of all, we'll be looking at how we work with companies across the fintech space. Then we will be looking at a few examples of a measurement framework and applying this to a few different verticals in the fintech space to see how that would look. Finally, we'll be looking at some of the best practices. Makes panel is extremely privileged to work with a wide variety of clients across the fintech industry. This is just a snapshot of just a few of the verticals we cater to, including buy now, pay later companies, digital bank banking and investment providers, payroll and benefit providers, payment processes and POS tools, and crypto and share trading tools. Regardless of the specific vertical, all are unified in their common purpose of handling consumers or businesses' money and who are all looking to Mixpanel to help them shape their product to best serve the needs of their customers. So why might a financial technology company choose to adopt an analytics platform such as Mixpanel? Some common benefits might include reasons such as identifying opposite cells, driving loyalty and reducing churn, increasing online transactions, and reducing offline servicing costs with improved digital flows. Finally, we have examples of customers who have achieved this and more using Mixpanel, including PicPay, Xero, City, Credit Sesame, just to name a few. Next, we're going to return our attention to um, the value of a measurement framework and clearly defined metrics. Our experience working with a wide selection of clients, both across the fintech industry and in other sectors, has shown us that the customers who clearly define their metrics against their business objectives achieve greater success in deriving business critical insights from Mixpanel. That is why we have designed our analytics framework to help you define the metrics that matter to you. This framework asks you to identify one single focus metric, which should be the metric that matters above all else for your business. This focus metric is then complemented by level one metrics in four or five key areas, reach, activation, engagement, retention, and optionally, you can also add in some business specific KPIs. So what does this look like in reality? How might this look for like for some of our example fintech firms? What we're going to do together is look at a series of different example verticals and examine what their focus metric might be. And then for each one, examine how they might complement this with one of our five different level one metrics. So let's start with a buy now, pay later provider to start with. A focus metric here might be weekly purchases. We may then want to complement this focus metric with a reach KPI, examining new user signups. Moving on to our next example, let's imagine we are a payment, a payment processing tool. Our focus metric in this case is likely to be a transaction based, so daily or weekly tra completed transactions. This then might be complemented by a level one activation metric, examining the number of users completing the registration flow. Okay, let's imagine we are a digital bank next. Our focus metric might be users adding funds. We might then complement this with an engagement metric examining a percentage of users completing at least one balance transfer per week or month. Turning our uh, attention to our payroll and benefits platform, our focus metric might be a weekly payment sent. Our level one retention metric might be one to look at repeat payers. Finally, turning our attention to an online insurer, our focus metric is likely to be active insurance policies. A business specific metric here is, is a number of claims handled using an online flow instead of using a help center. Hopefully these examples have helped illustrate our focus metrics and level one metrics. Next, we're gonna turn our attention to some best practices. The first point to discuss is about integrations. Data from integrations such as messaging platforms, et cetera, can help enrich your metrics, but consider whether these will be a distraction to or add value to the metrics that matter, as we've discussed looking at our uh, analytics framework. 
The second thing to consider is that the fintech space is perhaps one of the most innovative industries with the new products constantly being involved to improve the customer experience. As your app or product evolves, it is important to evolve at the same pace your analytics framework. Clear ownership of each metric will aid this process. Finally, we would recommend steering clear of vanity metrics. Focus your metrics on the actions that matter rather than the metrics that don't deliver true value. Okay, so you have these in place. What will this allow you to do? Well, just some of the things that you should be able to achieve with the right metrics in place include being able to understand your time to value using our funnels report, understand the impact of new features using our impact report, understand retention and being able to optimize conversion to premium offerings, such as added values accounts using our retention report, and A-B test analysis using our experiments reports. This is just a sample of some of the potential options you could consider with the right metrics unlocked with a measurement framework. That brings us to the end of today's short deep dive session. I hope you've taken some inspiration from today's session. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll look forward to seeing you on a future session. Goodbye.